Hi guys, well as you can see today we're going to be doing a brand new PC build. It's been quite a while since we did anything like this, but MSI reached out and they asked if we wanted to do an all MSI configuration and I knew that you guys would be interested and of course we've just had the 10th gen launch and the Intel Z490 chipset so it's the perfect timing. Now when we talk about the fact that this is going to be an all MSI build, there are obviously a few exceptions for things like the DDR4, the power supply and storage because MSI doesn't produce those products. So for those particular items we turn to Corsair, Intel and Adata. Now the idea behind this build is that it's obviously going to be based around the 10900K and we're going to be using here the MSI Z490 Unify. This board is all about keeping things super sleek and sidestepping that RGB lighting. So this is going to be a blackout build. So wherever possible, if a product does have that RGB lighting, we will be disabling it. So yeah, the foundation for this build, this configuration, is to switch on that stealth mode. Now if you want the full system spec, that will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get building. Before we get into our review, today's video is brought to you by Corsair and the K95 RGB Platinum XT. This mechanical keyboard is the brand's current flagship and it boasts perky RGB backlighting, a 19 zone light edge across the top of the board, as well as dedicated media keys with volume roller. There are also dedicated macro keys on the left side and this XT has full support for the Elgato Stream Deck. So this is undoubtedly one of Corsair's most feature rich keyboards to date. For more more info on the XT, check out that link in the description.
All right, well that is the all MSI blackout build complete. This was definitely a fun one to construct. Uh, the MSI Secura 500P right next to me here surprised and impressed me with the overall build quality, the combination of features, the layout and the space, which in turn makes the installation process pretty much trouble free. The only thing I would say uh, is that to watch out for those edges. This case is extremely sharp and even just moving it around on the desk due to it sitting very close to the surface you're gonna have to watch out for it scratching things. It has unfortunately chewed up my desk in various places just in the building process and you know, moving it around. Now just a few things to note about the specification of this particular build here. All of the parts were supplied by MSI even that Corsair DDR4. The PSU is definitely overkill for this configuration being at 850 watts but we had it spur and we wanted to make use of it. I would suggest for this particular spec 600 watt would be more than suitable. Now initially when I installed the fans on the radiator I wanted to have those cables tucked away at the very back of the case uh, but it wasn't until I went to install the unit into the case that I realized that I'd install those fans in the wrong orientation but thankfully uh, it wasn't a big thing to correct. Now the benchmarks that you just saw were all at 1080p. The MSI Mag 27 is of course 27 inch. Native uh, resolution is 2560 by 1440 and it's of course got FreeSync as well. Now when I went into the first game which was Fortnite I noticed some significant problems. The first one was that with FreeSync enabled the screen would constantly pulse and disabling that was the only solution to fixing it. But at that native resolution of 1440p, I also experienced some really strange behavior in games. And I'll just put this up to illustrate. What seems to be happening is that there is some sort of stuttering or lag when in 1440p. You can see that even in the menu system, there are some performance issues there. But in game, the frame rate would drop every 10 seconds and in GPU-Z, I noticed that the GPU clock would remain consistent, but the memory clock seems to be dropping and then ramping back up. And I don't seem to be on my own with this kind of issue either with the 5700 XT. On the AMD forums, there are plenty of reports there with the very same issues being experienced, with some people hinting that it could be driver related. And we've tried to roll back to previous drivers, did a fresh install, nothing would fix it. The only thing to fix this the solution was to switch to 1080 which you know magically those stutters and that lag completely disappeared so yeah that is why the benchmarks are all there at 1080p the performance there with everything maxed out is pretty decent as you've seen the msi display the mag 27 is bright it's vibrant 165 hertz which is superb and due to the nature of that feature it is nigh on impossible to showcase what it's truly like but you know the workflow the entire workflow not just gaming is super smooth and once you move to something like that you don't go back to 60 hertz so i'll leave it there guys hope you enjoyed today's build let me know what you think of it in the comments section below and of course if you've got any questions I'll do my best to get back to you. And next, I've got another system build for you, which is coming right up. I'm gonna be upgrading the system behind me here, which is the Intel 7900X, and I'm moving over to AMD TRX40 platform. So stay tuned for that one coming right up. Thanks very much for watching today, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.